question is, what came after World Heroes? Are we still on 1992, by the way? How many games do uh, we have yes, left? Yes, we are. We still, there's still at least one, two... There's another three games left in 1992. Oh. Well, you know what? Let's finish up those three games if we can. Alright. Well, after World Heroes, it's another fighting game. Art of Fighting. Oh, yes. The first Art of Fighting game. Another one that began a series. Uh, this is a pure SNK series, though, so it's met with slightly more success. This one, though, is pretty much straight off a Street Fighter ripoff. <laughs> when you see the main character, you'll understand why. This is also the first canonical appearance of Geese Howard. Because he first appeared in Art of Fighting, and then appeared in... Uh, yeah. His name is Ryo. He wears a gi and he fights by throwing fireballs. Art of fighting. Ah, you can play it in Spanish if you want. But we are probably going to stick to English, I think. And we will be going with the story mode, naturally. Defend successfully, imperative. Right, so as you can see there are quite a few characters to pick from, but we need to start off with the uh, two main characters, and I guess we'll go with Ryo for now. Round one. And yep, that was totally not a Hadouken or anything. The difference in this game is that you don't actually have unlimited chi power with which to go crazy with those things. You actually have to uh, conserve your energy and use it properly. Another interesting thing is that you actually get combat damage. You can tell by the f face and body of your opponent how much damage you have taken. I quite like the uh, zooming in and out effect. Yeah. Let's you keep a closer look at what's going on once you're close. While still giving you plenty of area to see what the heck is going on while you're anywhere else. Hmm. I don't know, I guess it feels more cinematic. That too. How? He's literally stepped on my foot. What a dick. Press A button, then C button, and strike a hard blow. Well, let's try that, I guess. So, start with A. And that is apparently how you do the 1-2 of a... I'm not being terribly precise due to the fact that I'm using uh, PS3 controller and the stick is a bit, uh, yeah, is a bit happy with the inputs. Don't make a pose like that when your face is all swollen up, Ryo. You look ridiculous. Silly buns. Doing his best puffer fish impression. Hey, why did he reach and I didn't? Unfair. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Offex is expressing his amazement that on the PS3 pad you're actually using the analog stick and not the D pad for this. 
<laughs> it's because I was playing uh, Warship Gunner earlier, so I set it to a PSD controller, which means that I can't actually use the D-pad right now, it's deactivated. <laughs> and now he goes riding on a motorcycle, not even wearing shoes. Seriously, <laughs> you're, wearing, <laughs> you're wearing Getta sandals while riding a motorcycle, that's a terrible idea. And no helmet, that's a bad example. And now we get to fight a big fat guy. Who naturally uses wrestling techniques. And stop kicks. Well, it does, it does strike me as the type of person that learned how to fight by watching WWF. You would not be <laughs> terribly wrong, I was about to say. That according to his profile, I believe he is self taught. Whoa! Hello! And it looks like we hit another brick wall. Well, let's bring in Robert Garcia instead and see what he can do. Misjudged my range and that's basically the match. A backwards drop kick, yeah, sure thing, Jack. <laughs> sure. Because that would impart so much momentum. This is getting a bit ridiculous, really. Every time I jump, he uses the exact same stop kick. Mm. Clearly, I need a new tactic. Seriously, god damn it, why do you have priority with that damn kick? Whoa! Okay. Suddenly that kick just went from the other side of the area. What the hell? He's a... Uh... That was pretty surprising. I did not fully expect that to happen. Stay down. <laughs> that was way too close. This is not going to end well. Either that, or he can just have some chewing gum and I'll... Use that to my... What the hell is up with that goddamn kick? I really dislike that. He just slides forward when he's doing a standing heel kick. That makes no sense. That would bring all his momentum upwards and backwards and it would make him fall over. Such a big fella, he's sure got a lot of balance. Yeah. Alright, let's do on the MVS setting in Japanese. Because <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? Words! Mm. 
by the way, yes, you know, there is no holding backwards to block in this game. You actually have to time the backwards press with the enemy strike, which is why I'm not being terribly good at the whole blocking thing. It's very much a technique based game in that way. You also take a shitload more damage if you're doing anything else than blocking when you get hit. It's very big on the whole counter-attack thing. Also there he just showed off a wall attack. You can bounce off walls to attack if you have the right timing. Well then, that went fairly well. Yeah, once again, MVS not proved to be really that much more difficult, so it seems. It ramps up a lot quicker. Normally the first fight is easier so that it draws you in and makes people go, Oh hey, fun game, I'm actually kicking ass on this. And then the next instant it goes, haha, no. Fool you. Damn it. And there's that sliding heel kick again. You're just going to back up until you... Okay, apparently this guy fights better out of the corner of the screen than I do advancing into it. That's, uh... How do they do that, really? I also like those not-so-well-hidden attacks where it's pretty obvious that he is actually attacking out of his stun animation, which means that he's faster in responding with an attack than I am following up. Something which I, of course, can't do because I am um, completely screwed. Like that, yeah. He actually attacks inside my attack while being hit and I'm the one who goes down. Yeah. Ever heard about something called priority, buddy? You were still getting up, you bastard. You can't actually counter-strike while you are getting up. That's one hell of a wake-up game, seriously. But yeah, MVS ramped up the difficulty. Good lord, that freaking... Oh, come on. Really? I emptied his health meter, but apparently that wasn't enough. He has decided, nah. Not this time. Right, let's do our last credit as a robot and then we can move on to a different game that doesn't kick my ass. Let me say that now. Yeah, first hit, I'm dizzied. Wow, wonderful. This is just amazing. Offix is saying try forward, back, forward, C. Oh, not with Robert. I think it was with the Rio. 
Well then, that was nice. Well the only problem is that it took 75% of my special bar and it did the same amount of damage as one of his normal kicks. Despite it hitting with every single one. Seriously, what the hell game? What the hell? Yeah. But yeah, that pretty much illustrates exactly what I'm talking about. Basically, yeah, you landed a unblocked special attack with every hit. Good going. He kicked you once with a standard attack. Well, sorry, you were actually the loser in that uh, little altercation. Sorry about that. Still, this is a very good game, especially if you're good at it. If you're good at it, the fights look absolutely amazing. Me? I'm terrible. So let's move on.